What's poppin' internet? Snuff here from Dirty Earthlings with another edition of the Rapper Report Card. On this week's Report Card, we take a look at someone that many consider to be the greatest rapper of all time, Lil Wayne. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but it may end up showing through the grades. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Before we jump into the grades though, let's take a quick look at the criteria. Each rapper is graded in six different categories. Vocabulary, delivery, wordplay, beats, creativity and originality, and impact on the culture. Each category will receive a letter grade of A through F, and just like in school, each letter has a point value attached. A's are four points, B's are three, C's are two, D's are one, and F's get zero points. Plus or minus grades will either add or subtract 0.5 points, so like the highest someone can get is an A+, which would be 4.5 points. Got it? At the end, we'll add up the points, divide by the six categories, and what we're left with is the MC's rapper GPA. Before we get into the grades, I just wanted to take a second and thank everyone who's subscribed to the channel and viewed the videos over the past couple weeks. I really, really appreciate you guys' support and for rocking with us here at Dirty Earthlings. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out. I want to do a producer report card. I want to do some paranormal investigations. There are some giveaways that I want to do. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so and join the movement. We coming. We already here. So you need to hop on board if you're not already on so we can continue to build this community. Go ahead and like and subscribe so you can be notified when new content drops. Lil Wayne was born Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. on September 27, 1982 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Wayne's journey into the music industry began at a young age when he joined the hip-hop group Hot Boys, who were signed to Cash Money Records, in the late 1990s. This early experience provided him with a platform to showcase his talent and establish himself in the rap scene. In 1999, Lil Wayne released his debut solo album, The Block Is Hot which garnered significant attention and marked the beginning of his solo career. He quickly gained recognition for his distinctive voice and interesting wordplay. Over the years, Wayne released a series of successful albums, including Lights Out, 500 Degrees, and The Carter, which became a pivotal point in his career, introducing him to a much broader audience. In the mid-2000s, Lil Wayne's career reached new heights with the release of The Carter II, and then The Carter III a few years later. 3, in particular, was a massive commercial success and earned him critical acclaim. It featured hits like Lollipop and A Milli, and it showcased Wayne's versatility. During this time period, he also became known for his prolific output of mixtapes and collaborations with other artists. His work ethic and willingness to experiment with various styles and genres made him a highly influential figure in the hip-hop world. Despite some legal troubles and label disputes, Lil Wayne's career continued to thrive with successful albums like The Carter Four and I Am Not a Human Being. He also founded Young Money Entertainment, nurturing the careers of artists like Drake and Nicki Minaj, who became major artists in their own right. One of Lil Wayne's most distinctive characteristics is his vocabulary. He doesn't always rely on the same cliches or repetitive phrases that often plague hip-hop. Instead, Wayne consistently challenges himself to find fresh and innovative ways to convey his thoughts and emotions. He also leaves certain listeners captivated and intrigued by the different layers of meaning that he brings to his lyrics. Whether he's rapping about the trials and tribulations of his upbringing, the complexities of fame, or the nuances of personal relationships, his words have a way of drawing listeners in and making them feel the intensity of his experiences. This adaptability in subject matter showcases his skill in not only using a wide range of words, but also in applying them effectively to different contexts. One criticism of Lil Wayne's vocabulary lies in its consistency. While he has undoubtedly showcased moments of lyrical ability, there are times where his lyrics come across disjointed or lacking coherence. It's not uncommon to find verses where his word choices seem random or just arbitrary, leaving truly dialed in listeners questioning the overall message of the line or the verse. This inconsistency in his vocabulary usage 
can make it challenging to fully engage with and appreciate some of his tracks. His metaphors and similes can sometimes hinder the clarity of his message. While intricate wordplay can be a sign of lyrical skill, it should ideally enhance the listener's understanding of the song rather than make things confusing. And Wayne has definitely been guilty of that a lot. He gets a B for vocabulary. Lil Wayne's delivery as a rapper has undergone significant evolution throughout his lengthy career. Over the years, his delivery has been a point of both admiration and critique. One of Wayne's most notable strengths in terms of delivery is his distinctive voice and flow. His raspy and unique tone and cadence have made him instantly recognizable, and his delivery has often been imitated, but rarely actually duplicated. This distinctive vocal quality has contributed to his success and helped him stand out in a crowded field of hip-hop artists. This has been a double-edged sword though, as many have found his voice nasally and kinda irritating. While it's unique and part of his identity, it doesn't mean it always sounds good to the ear. Wayne's ability to adapt his delivery to different beats and production styles is another noteworthy aspect of his career. He's shown versatility and seamlessly transitioning between tempos and rhythms, from the laid back and melodic to the fast paced and energetic. This adaptability has allowed him to collaborate with a wide range of artists and experiment with different sounds, showcasing his versatility as a rapper. It is important to note though, that Lil Wayne's delivery has seen some criticism. Throughout his career, some listeners and critics have pointed out moments when his flow seemed lackluster or repetitive. There have been instances where his rhymes appeared forced or his delivery lacked a passion and energy that he's capable of. This inconsistency in his delivery has led to mixed reviews on certain projects and individual tracks. Another point of contention has been his reliance on certain vocal effects and auto-tune. While these techniques can add a unique flavor to a song when used sparingly, there have been instances where Lil Wayne's overuse of auto-tune or vocal manipulation detracts from the authenticity and rawness that many hip-hop listeners value. Some argue that these effects can mask his true vocal abilities and diminish the emotional connection between the artist and the listener. Have to go with a straight B for his delivery. Wayne's wordplay is a key element of his career and has consistently impressed some audiences worldwide. One of Wayne's most commendable qualities is his ability to craft metaphors and similes that add depth and creativity to his verses. He has a knack for finding unexpected connections between seemingly unrelated ideas, which keeps his listeners engaged. Wayne's use of wordplay is often characterized by its wit and cleverness. He's known for his ability to twist words and phrases to create like double meanings and different puns and clever references. This adds an element of fun and surprise to his lyrics, making them enjoyable, not just on a superficial level, but also for those who appreciate the subtleties of language. The flip side of this, though, is the perceived corniness of some of his metaphors and similes. Some argue that just having some simple puns and lower level double entendre isn't enough to consider Wayne some lyrical genius. Real G's move in silence like lasagna immediately comes to mind. Other times, the shit just doesn't make sense. Like the Wheezy F baby and the F is for phenomenal line. Both of these bars blew some simpler minds, but to true hip-hop wordsmiths, they were ridiculed relentlessly for their silly and nonsensical nature. Overall, Wayne is above many when it comes to the effort and creativity in his wordplay, so this definitely needs to be rewarded. But, I can't put him in the A tier with those that can connect lines and ideas at a much higher technical level. I'm going B plus for wordplay. Yell at me in the comments. Lil Wayne's career in hip-hop has been marked by a diverse and often unconventional approach to beat selection. Over the years, he has made choices that have both delighted and perplexed his fan base and critics alike. One of Lil Wayne's standout strengths in beat selections is his ability to adapt to a wide range of production styles. He has consistently shown a willingness to experiment with various beats, from traditional hip-hop instrumentals to more eclectic and genre-blurring soundscapes. 
This adaptability has allowed him to remain relevant in an ever-evolving music landscape and collaborate with a diverse array of artists. He has also displayed a skill for selecting beats that complement his unique style and flow. His raspy voice and distinctive delivery have often found perfect synergy with more unconventional and avant-garde production. This dynamic pairing has resulted in some of his most memorable tracks, showcasing his ability to recognize beats that allow him to shine as an artist. Now, there have been instances where his choices left fans scratching their heads, particularly when he ventured into more experimental or niche genres. These tracks, while sometimes admired for their audacity, have occasionally fallen short of expectation, highlighting the very fine line between creative exploration and artistic misstep. While Wayne's overall beat selection has been largely a mixed bag of dope, just okay, and kinda whack, the dope ones have been extremely dope and some of the most memorable beats hip hop has ever seen. I think that his iconic beats are enough to deserve an A for this category. One of Lil Wayne's most notable creative qualities is his fearless approach to experimentation. He has never shied away from trying new styles, flows, or sounds. From his early days as a member of the Hot Boys to his later solo career, Wayne has shown a willingness to adapt to changing musical landscapes. His openness to incorporating elements of rock, R&B, and even electronic music into his hip-hop tracks has led to the creation of some really unique and genre-defying music. Wayne's creative resilience has also been particularly noteworthy. He has faced setbacks and legal challenges throughout his career, including some prison time, but he has always managed to bounce back and continue creating music that resonates with his audience. This ability to channel adversity into his creative process has only solidified his status as a creative force in the industry. As always, there is a flip side, and in this case, one of the criticisms has been a tendency to rely on formulaic approaches in his music. Over the years, some have argued that he's fallen into a pattern of repetitive themes and subject matter, particularly concerning his lyrics about drug use, sex, and materialism. This repetitive content can make his music feel kind of one-dimensional and predictable at times, which can be disheartening for those seeking more lyrical depth and variety. Wayne's creative output has also been criticized for its lack of introspection and social commentary. While he has touched on personal experiences and challenges, his work often lacks the social and political engagement that characterizes many other influential hip-hop artists. This absence of meaningful content in some of his tracks has really disappointed listeners who look to hip-hop music for thought-provoking messages and commentary on important societal issues. Now, we also have to factor in that whole auto-tune and voice manipulation thing into this score as well. And honestly, naming your albums the same thing just with different numbers like the Carter 1, 2, 3, 4, it feels really lazy, so points off for that. Oh, and this shit too. While he's out there and kind of weird and all that, that doesn't necessarily translate to a high creativity score. I'm going C plus here. Lil Wayne's impact on hip hop culture throughout his career has been incredible. He emerged onto the scene as a young rapper and grew to become one of the most influential and iconic figures in the game, leaving a lasting mark on the culture and is considered the GOAT by many rap fans. He introduced a new level of wordplay and complexity to the idea of Southern rappers. Until Wayne grew into his more lyrical self, the perception was that a lot of Southern rappers were mostly slower paced with simpler lines. Wayne challenged this incorrect perception, and both his contemporaries and the generation that followed had to elevate their lyrical game because of him. His metaphors, rhyme schemes, and his ability to find humor in his verses are generally well respected by rap fans. Wayne played a pivotal role in popularizing the mixtape culture in hip hop. His prolific output of mixtapes, particularly during the mid 2000s, helped shift the industry's focus from traditional album releases to a more fluid and immediate form of content distribution. This shift empowered aspiring artists 
to reach their audiences directly and build their fan bases independently, a trend that continues to shape the music industry today. His impact extends beyond just his music. He has influenced fashion trends, slang, and the overall aesthetic of hip hop. His distinctive look, complete with tattoos, dreadlocks, and a grungy style, inspired a whole generation of young fans and artists. Wayne's entrepreneurial ventures have had a lasting impact on hip hop as well. He founded Young Money Entertainment, which became home to notable artists like Drake and Nicki Minaj. His mentorship and collaborations with these artists not only propelled their careers, but also contributed to the overall evolution of hip hop as a genre that continuously welcomes new voices and styles. For all of that, Wayne earns an A plus for his impact on the hip hop culture. All right, well, there's Lil Wayne's report card. If we add up the score, we get a total of 20.5 points. Divide that by our six categories, and we're left with the rap GPA of 3.41. It's pretty decent. Not the GOAT status that many claim, but it is better than a lot of the MCs out there. It's a solid B. I think that's a fair reflection of Lil Wayne, all things considered. But as always, let me know where I got it wrong down in the comments. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified when new report cards drop. Until next time, this is Snuff from Dirty Earthlings with the Rapper Report Card signing out. Peace.